boy. Hello again guys, my name is Percival Ten Unboxing And now we're going to unbox the cheapest vacuum cleaner you can buy on the marketplace right now So, here it is Here's the packaging, as you can see Awesome I can't show you the front because that's my thing <laughs> So yeah, forgot how much I bought this for but it was so cheap so That's why I ordered it online I don't know if, if, if it's just on sale or whatnot Maybe it's just on sale <laughs> So yeah, so now it's the packaging, awesome Nothing special and now let's open it don't know what brand it is but on the page it doesn't says any brand it just says that it was a vacuum cleaner a wireless vacuum cleaner so therefore it's rechargeable obviously <laughs> so let's open it the bubble wrap Some ASMR there, <laughs> cringe. So, yeah, so it's a wireless vacuum cleaner. So it's the front of the box. Rechargeable vacuum cleaner gives a great result fast with a carpet kit for daily cleaning. Awesome. And by the way, if you're hearing like some rain, raining sounds, yeah, it's raining. We have storms here currently in, in my country. So yeah. So as you see, this is the vacuum cleaner. Awesome. Cool, cool. There it is. Yeah. So now let's open it. So these are the things that are included inside the box. It comes with the instruction manual, the rechargeable vacuum cleaner, the charger, and the two attachments that you will plug in the front nozzle or tip of this thing. So let's look at all of them in full detail. So here's the instruction manual. So let's see. It comes, it has like four languages, German, and some other language that I, that I don't know so it's the front of the thing then the inside some other language as you can see right there I don't know yeah I feel stupid for not looking it up before recording it but eh. so it's the English side as you can see please focus so the components of the thing so opening lock blah 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 if you want to see or read it please pause the video right now and I was want to read it. There's more stuff right here. Yeah, it's a pretty long instruction manual. Now let's go to the next page. And these are more English parts. And the rest are all in different language. And the one thing that I noticed when I read this thing is this part right here. Um, never use the appliance to vacuum matches, pointed objects, cigarettes, butts, or other glowing things. Why would you vacuum butts? Why? 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 Why butts? Why? Why should I use this vacuum cleaner to suck up butts? Why? 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 are the two attachments that you will get from this package. So this is just a long, elongated, uh, rectangular tube. Yeah, it's hollow inside. As you can see right there. And the other one is has the brush thing, so you can like use it for dust and stuff, and it will suck into this hole right there. There you go, right there. Now it's auto focused. There you go. And this thing also. Awesome. Now let's go on to the next thing. So now this is the charging dock of the vacuum cleaner. So obviously it's very cheaply made. It may it's it's like made out of pretty cheap plastic and it's pretty hollow inside as you can hear it yeah there's just like a dead space inside like a there's only like a small chip inside of it that can that controls the energy flow or the electricity flow to this tiny little pin that plugs in to your vacuum cleaner as you can see right there it's pretty thin so it might easily snap up so you you should not force it out of your vacuum cleaner when you're gonna like remove it from the charging thing and here are the some attention stuff blah 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 you know you need that also so it says right there pause the video if you want there you go and it and it's it has this European plug 
as you can see right there so if you can't plug this European plug you need the um, AC adapter or whatever but it's not comes with this device but yeah you you understand me right <laughs> and here's the plug the model is t 631 let's put this down first the pry 230 volts 50 hertz 5.5 volts to 0 0.2 amps so one two three Celsius blah 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 so if that's important to you then yeah <laughs> so it's the charger and the best perks that's this cheap cheaply made charger you can put your attachment on here so if one of your attachment isn't being used like for example this long elongated tube i put it right there but the thing i noticed when you put this long elongated tube it easily falls off like like there as you can see it, it just fell i barely even moved it so yeah it will fall easily as you can see right there <laughs> but this brush but this attachment that has the brush it will not easily fall it's like suck the tube like yeah it stays there it has a nice grip as you can see i'm shaking it all and it won't fall down see it's it stays there and it will stay and if you want to see it charge you need to put the vacuum cleaner on here so it's a vacuum cleaner oh come on it's auto focus there you go so it's a vacuum cleaner and you need to plug this little hole inside here yep so plug it in right there so sometimes you need to look at it but sometimes you will not need to look at it so we plug in and it will stay kinda but if you shake it yeah it will kinda stay but it's the pin is so thin it might break off or you know remove itself from the base and here's the European plug I'm gonna put an AC adapter to it as you can see right here I'm gonna plug it in my power source as you can see right there but before you put it on the power socket you should turn this thing off obviously and then power it and then plug it in to your any electrical source and that red light will turn on and that will indicate that it is charging obviously <laughs> and there is the charger now let's go on to the vacuum cleaner it's the vacuum cleaner as you can see right there it's pretty small and it's light it's not very heavy for its size as you can see my hand not too big for it so whatever so yeah so it's the vacuum cleaner so it's the vents where the air should go out whatever and at the top here's the on button on and off button so if i turn this on it will obviously turn on as you can hear right now see so, so that's the on button so that's the noise that it will be a little bit noisy but it's bearable and it's no indicator light and if you press this button you can open this thing up to get to the filter and it's the fan that sucks it in let's turn it on so you can see it so there you go it, it has a pretty fast sucking fan <laughs> oh yeah by the way here's the charging thing so you can plug it to your charger that is included to your device now here's the filter so it's a filter it's kind of has a cheap feel to it it's plastic obviously and the fabric or whatever you call this thing it's kind of not cheap yep it's not cheap for its price it's it's durable it will not easily tear but it it's not recommended to vacuum up sharp objects or whatever you just need to like vacuum dust or sand or salt sugar that isn't any like has pointed pointy ends to it yeah you understand me but no liquids i don't know why you should vacuum up liquids but you can just wipe it off meh, meh. so it's a filter pretty nice plastic filter nice build and it's the tip of the vacuum cleaner so you can clean this too oh wow something fell or something fell oh no eh, some useless stuff that i don't need <laughs> so it's the compartment where all your trash or all your stuff that you vacuum will go in pretty big pretty big yep and here's the end where you where your attachment should fit as you can see right there awesome now let's put it back and let's test this thing on some few dirt or some few uh, mess that i will make <laughs> so it's a vacuum cleaner again oh yeah 
for guy bodies. Rechargeable vacuum cleaner, model JK008, 3.6 volts, 60 watts. Yep, so as it's said in on the charger, this will work 6 to 8 hours or 6 or 8 hours. And for the first time using it, or for the first time buying it and removing it out from the package, you should charge this, you should charge this up to 24 hours. And the next charge, you should charge this about 12 hours only. If you overcharge this thing, the battery inside of it might explode and calamities will happen. <laughs> Now let's go to the test of this rechargeable vacuum cleaner. Now this is the test of this rechargeable vacuum cleaner. So I'm gonna test it out on tor torn pieces of paper right here. And we're gonna test it out on this rice granules or rice grains so whatever you call it. So first I'm gonna scatter these pieces of paper right now. So there you go, they're kind scan of scattered as you can see. So imagine you're like doing an arts and crafts and stuff and you just had a big pile of trash over there. So now let's use this vacuum cleaner guys. So first turn it on, let's see. So first let's test it without the attachments on it. On it. So I will not use this long elongated thing. <laughs> so now let's turn this on. Now let's suck it. So it's kind of pretty slow. And it gets stuck on the... Thing, so I just need to push it in so it can only suck tiny pieces of paper but it kind of can suck the big pieces of paper also It was kind of hard to suck the big pieces of paper. Yep, it got stuck inside of it. As you can see right there. You can see it right here. Somehow, it's not strong enough to suck the the big pieces of paper. As you can see right here. It will get stuck. So this is the thing. So now I know how it got stuck. So it felt like it got filled up with all the paper. Yep. So that's why it doesn't like suck the paper no more because it's full with these papers so the storage is pretty low if you're planning to suck big stuff yeah no pun not intended <laughs> so here the paper that I just sucked up yep and there's still paper stuck in the thing stuck in this long elongated tube that's how I need to get out by pushing it it's stuck in there pretty good there you go so for sucking big dirt or paper like that it will get filled it will get like full immediately in the storage right here the capacity is pretty low but yeah so in sucking this big loads of paper it does a thumbs down but for the price of it it's kind of good for sucking some big pieces of paper but not a huge load like this one right here as you can see now let's go on to the grain of rice right here as you can see right here so now let's go to that test for this test we're gonna test these grains of rices rice rice yeah rice so now let's pour it over here yeah awesome wasting food source oh my gosh so there's the rice so I'm gonna use this brush this time instead of this long elongated thing but uh, I guess let's just use this thing because it will be more easier. It has a big hole in it. And this is for dust and stuff. Well, we'll test this out on the curtains that I have. So, let's test this thing again. So, put this big long elongated, elongated tube inside of there. Now, let's start sucking. It is easily get sucked in. It's pretty fast, pretty quick. So, for small grains like rice and stuff, you can easily suck it up. I heard something pop inside. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> so now let's throw the rice away. Let's see if it will go down. Obviously it will. <laughs> wow. Easily removing the thing. Haha. <laughs> Thank you.
So, I cleaned this thing up with water because some rice went into the some compartments, like tiny spaces. Pardon me, <coughs> tiny spaces. And good thing the fil the filter didn't pop, but I heard some popping noises. But good thing this thing still works. Nothing seems abnormal about it. As you can see that, yeah. So I'm just gonna dry this up, and now let's go to the next test. Me vacuuming the curtains. So now I'm gonna clean my curtains, as you can see right there. And sorry if you're hearing like rain noises and some kind of motor thing. That's my air conditioning, yeah. <laughs> so now it's a vacuum cleaner, and I'm not going to use this long elongated thing, as you can see right there. So I'm not going to use this long elongated thing to vacuum that curtain over there. I'm gonna use this bristle, the brush type thing with the brushes. So gonna plug it in or gonna put it in. There you go, just like that. So now it's like a small little attachment. Yeah, right there. It's a small little attachment. So you you should like plug it in like right here, like that. And push it in, and now you have a brush. So now you need to brush it like here. So turn it on. Yes, now I'm done cleaning it. As you can see right here, it's still pretty dark <laughs> because it's uh, yeah, it's, it's a different color, but. It has no dirt on it as you can see. It's now clean. And the other side has some little specks of grey or some dust on it. If you can see right there on my hands. But if not, then meh. But it works. That's the end for the unboxing review and test of this rechargeable vacuum cleaner that cost only three dollars. Yep, it's pretty cheap. As I told you in the first segment when I'm going to unbox this thing. So for only three dollars you get what you paid for it can suck pretty good yep it can suck like dirt stuff like the grains the rice grains but it cannot suck big huge dirts like the paper a while ago and it will get clogged up but all in all i give it a four out of five stars it's pretty nice but it, i just found this thing on an online store because i, I was searching for a vacuum cleaner that I can review for YouTube and I stumble upon this thing and it says it's only three dollars with no shipment fee and I was like whoa so I bought it and when I last checked it while recording this video the item is currently sold out so if you want to buy this thing please come back to this video every day I will update the link to where you can buy it so come back to this video but if you can search it on the internet go ahead but if you can find the price like the version of this that worth three dollars that isn't used and it's a great steal so all in all it's pretty nice it's wireless it's good for not hard tasks only for small tasks like cleaning stuff not super hardcore stuff so yeah that's it so that's my review of this three dollar rechargeable vacuum cleaner and i would say this is worth it for only three dollars so that's it see you guys in my next unboxing video goodbye Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.